Finding the best emulator among thousands of projects is like searching for a needle in a dark room. But don't worry, I've tested every available Nintendo Switch emulator on the market and handpicked the top five best emulators for Android that are active, making progress, and truly stand out. Let's get started. After a long wait, Ryujinx has finally arrived on Android as Ryubing. Unfortunately, Ryubing, one of the most well-known Ryujinx forks, recently faced a DMCA notice, leading to the removal of its GitHub repository. However, this does not mean the end of the project. The developers have assured users that Ryubing is still alive, and those who updated their emulator before the takedown can continue enjoying its latest version. The team remains committed to delivering a high-quality emulator, ensuring that most Nintendo Switch games run seamlessly. The Ryubing is only available on Windows and Linux, and their Discord server remains active. As per the rumor, they will bring the Android version very soon. Nayushu Emulator is another top choice for playing Nintendo Switch games on Android. As a popular fork of Yuzu, Nushu continues to improve with regular updates, bringing major performance, compatibility, and stability enhancements. One of the biggest highlights is the updated sub-modules, which work together to deliver smoother gameplay. Additionally, custom shader formatters significantly improve graphics rendering, creating a more immersive gaming experience. A big fix in this update is the problem preventing new games from booting. Another game-changing addition is the integration with Antutu benchmarking and new overclocking features. Citroen Emulator might just be the best Nintendo Switch emulator right now. A fork of Yuzu, Citroen brings massive improvements in performance, game compatibility, and multiplayer support. With better GPU optimizations, Citroen delivers higher FPS and smoother gameplay, even on mid-range devices. It also improves shader compilation, reducing those annoying stutters that plagued Yuzu users. Citroen allows PC and Android players to play together online, something unheard of in previous versions. You can download Citroen Emulator directly from its official website or GitHub page. Sudachi Emulator is the oldest fork of Yuzu that's still available and active. It's built to run games smoothly with good performance. It uses Vulkan and OpenGL to improve graphics and gameplay, especially on powerful Snapdragon devices. The emulator supports many games, from small indie titles to bigger 3A games, but performance depends on your phone's hardware. Some of its key features include customizable on-screen controls, external gamepad support, save states to resume gameplay anytime, and shader caching to reduce lag. To get the best experience, it's recommended to use an Android 10 Plus device with at least a Snapdragon 865 processor, 6GB of RAM. Next on our list is the Live 4K emulator. This is the only active fork of the Skyline and Strato emulators that features an improved user interface and extra settings. Skyline gained huge interest because it was less demanding on hardware, making it great for mid-range devices. However, it struggles with high-end games like Super Mario Odyssey or FIFA 23. Live 4K requires prod keys and title keys to function. Since Skyline and Strato are discontinued and their files are hard to find, Live 4K Emulator is your best choice for playing Nintendo Switch games on Android. You can download Live 4K from its official website or GitHub page. Which emulator are you using right now? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more emulation updates.